Pack Labor. Pack Labor, what a name. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. So it looks like we don't have a waterfall. But that is okay. I'm fine without a waterfall. It looks like we just have two off-going rivers. I love your idea of just, you know, <laughs> diverting these two rivers into the underground. That's hilarious to me. Oh, what's this? Oh, what? What? Oh, ooh, 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 oh, yep, 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 yep. Okay, no, it's nothing. Um. Is there anything I can see in the river? No, there's not. Okay. Um, yeah, I like that idea. So I think we're going to do that. And I'm going to start out by building a, I guess, building a mini tower and slowly expanding it out. I'm just going to do, like, straight up tower stuff. we have some wood we don't have any wood why is nobody cutting down wood what the hell is this guy doing hey buddy what what are you doing oh it's right they're experiencing a trauma after suffering a major injury his right upper leg is cut open what what happened? What happened? What? Why are you already in pain? What? Profession following wounds. There we go. Right upper leg is badly damaged. Man, I, I guess the trees fight back here. Okay, we're going to have to set somebody else. Uh, up to do some woodworking, so I guess let's go with the woodworker. He is also in pain? Why, though? Everybody's in pain. Okay. If they were fighting anything, uh, a, a giant snap... Oh, God. Okay. Giant snapping turtle, giant snapping turtle. Well, apparently we got giant snapping turtles on the floor, which, you know what? All that really says to me is that we need to capture that giant snapping turtle. I mean, every evil tower needs an adorable animal mascot, and I think he can be ours. That will give me more than enough room to do everything that I would like to in my fortress. And it will also, you know, give me enough room to actually do everything. Uh, so I'll make this first layer will be kind of a all expenses, everything that needs to go on in this fortress will kind of go on in this layer, starting with some bedrooms and working my way out. I will do, I'll make sure everybody gets at least nice uh, three by three bedrooms. One of my main things is working on a fully successful farm uh, which I'm fairly excited about doing but it's going to be entirely a full challenge to do and honestly I'm exceptionally excited to make a farm that is fully functioning because I, I have never fully made a farm that that was able to do more than just, oh, I'm growing plump helmets, but I don't want to just grow plump helmets. I want to successfully make pigtails. I, I want to get to the point where trading is not a thing I even care about. I want to make successful uh, um, uh, workflows. So that is going to be, I guess, my primary goal with this is just making uh, successful workflows. There's that. Do the thing. Uh, I don't. I'm trying to make some mechanisms. Uh, it, I already got the fishery going. So this is the level that I'm gonna make my farms. God, I could also do my maze. I 
I I also have a big old love love bug for mazes, so I'm probably also gonna do a big maze uh, thing that I that I've been wanting to do for a while. But again, the very first thing that I'm gonna be focused on is uh, the defense and protection of my dwarves. There are so many things to fight in this world. I I'm I'm very excited. I I added in uh, the monster manual mod, which a lot, which uh, adds in a buttload of different races, uh, as well as monsters. But I have also uh, added in the dwarfist dungeon mod, which adds in a lot of horrible races, including including just dark evil creatures, which I'm very excited about. But it also gives me more nations that I can fight, including the Lightbringers, the Aarakocra, the Dragonborn, and the like. And I'm very excited to commit war on on those races, uh, especially the Lightbringers, because they have caused me no end of dismay since I have started this game. I guess let's start out. Wait a minute, where they, where were they taking? The, oh, they were taking the stones to make the, to make the things. Good. Do I have beds? I do. Well, let's just start placing some beds so we have places for dwarves to sleep. Bed. 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 Eh. I ain't got a good spot for it. I'm just gonna get it there so we can also get a smelter going, because after all. After after we all got attacked by that that bloody snapping turtle, I think you, we can all understand why I uh, need to start equipping my dwarves for wars. I think we all get it. Uh, let's do some cages. Uh, cages J J. Okay, we got some cages. All right, that's good. Um, let's take a look at where that snapping turtle is. Do we still have the snapping turtle? Uh, we a celestial diva, which is a wild animal, you say? Interesting. A giant sponge and a long nose gar, and a a planetar, a pl and a and a deva. Where is the celestial deva? <laughs> These celestial agents are shaped like humans with perfect physiques and are champions of good and justice. I must capture it. Uh, live to carry out the will of their dea deity. Celestial devas act in divine messengers, often stopping to lend aid to those in need. She is tall. Her thin body is layered with some fat. Uh, her teeth are crowned. She has a prominent square chin. Blah 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 blah. Oh God, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna capture her. Ah, uh, I wanna, I wanna capture her. Okay, and the planetar, which I believe is also a celestial being, agents uh, shaped like humans with perfect physiques. They are champions of good and justice. Yeah, yeah. So this is just. Uh, oh no no no! I was gonna say it's the male version of. Uh, I, I think it's just a lower form of angel. And it looks like, oh god, he's really high up there. Okay, or she's really high up there. Okay, well, what's this? What's the M? What's that? A raw muscle. <gasps> oh, raw muscle. Ooh, that means that we're gonna have we're gonna have shells. Mm, we don't have them yet, and that's gotta be okay. It's gotta be okay that we don't have shells. We're gonna have shells. And with that, I can make shell crafts. And from shell crafts, I can make lots of money. Yes. We got nine idlers, so we're going to go ahead and start setting up those idlers to start smoothing stone. Okay, uh, excellent. These bedrooms are coming along well, so all of my dwarves can have a fair amount of bedrooms and then I can start actually setting everyone up so that they can have their own spot so they can all feel like they're being fulfilled uh, get some more beds in here and then we can actually start getting some cabinets as well well I suppose then I'm going to have to already get started on where my tavern will be and I had thought about making my tavern opposite 
And I could just make it right over here. I think I'm just gonna make it right over here. Well, I guess that'll probably be the place. Oh, look at the iron bars. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna be able to make a bunch of swords. I should probably already, I, I feel like it's a good idea to already start setting up in case war began. I mean, hell, this is gonna be an evil fortress, so I'm gonna t I could I could preempt the elves. All we all know, I think it is easy to say that and we all know it, that the elves are violent, uh hateful people that hate the dwarves, and we need to stop them. Uh, we need to stop them before they can stop up. It, the truth is actually the, the light bringers. Those bastards do need to be stopped by the dwarves because uh, they, they are evil. Though Those bastards are legitimately uh, hateful people. They have attempt, They have destroyed one of my fortresses. They are the cause of the destruction of one of them. Uh, they have two of them. Oh no, they've actively destroyed uh, full on two of my fortresses. Those hateful bastards. I just now realized that. Oh, jeez, ums. Okay, it looks like somebody is making drinks and other dwarves are just going in there and be like, yes, thank you, and stealing all of his drink, which, uh, you know, I get it. I, I get it. Okay, this is the part that's always fun. So I'm going to... This one is specifically going to be for making pigtail because you can turn pigtail into drink and into clothes so we're not going to be making any meals only only drinks and clothes do i need to protect the seeds if i'm making the plant the seeds don't matter as much. Okay, so I don't, I'm not gonna care about the seeds. We're just gonna care about the plant. That probably makes me a bad seed dad, but that is okay. I guess I should start working on a real kind of tavern, huh? I suppose that would be the good thing. Excellent. Let's uh, let's go ahead and pull that lever. A P N go. Somebody pull that lever. Excellent. Wonderful. I do want to actually get a tavern going. Uh, you know what? I'm okay. Okay, I'm gonna do a uh, uh, taverns and. Holy things. Th those are, I think, my two next things uh, that are always important. I want some more tables by now. Let's also see what else we can. See if we can encrust anything, huh? Encrust some more furniture with some more zircon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, oh, let's make some bins so we can throw the. Ooh! Oh, it's water season. All right, we got water going. That's fine. That's good. I like water. Okay, got that going. See, we got this one over here that never got done because I, I think the ground thawed too soon, but we're going to cover that up because I will not die like that. That would be a very embarrassing way to die. Oh, come on. We got more gold over here. We have some migrants. There they are. Let's see how many we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six? Six? That's not bad. Okay. All right. 21 citizens. Okay. Well, let's make some more bedrooms for them, huh? Okay. Uh, I mean, that's already enough. Yeah, that's already enough. I guess at this point, though, I do need to really build a, a, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, 
at a, a, a tavern now that I have 21 dwarves. I suppose I should probably also start working on making a temple. Yeah, let's start making the tavern and the temple. I put a lot of effort into my temples. I like them to very much so represent the gods that they are assigned to. We don't have any any too many people that are excited about temples, so we're just going to do the no specific deity. I like to smooth them out. I if wait, what was that? The escorted depression? I I think I would like a different name, please. We're going to the escorted depression? I think we're going to retire this location, actually. Retire. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. Let's assign a location. Let's add a location. Temple. No specific D. The Oracle of Filling. Still not good. Better than it was. Jeez. Alright, uh, with this, we have a temple. Uh, it is still set to be smooth. So once they actually start smoothing it, we can, we can, like, start really setting stuff up. Oh, Jesus, I, I, I forgot, Mr. Madness. I, I forgot I uh, forgot to offer you the same thing that I like to offer all of the people that comment on my videos. So one of the things that I like to do is offer to name a dwarf after you. Would you like a dwarf named after you? The broker. Okay, yeah, that's okay. I don't have a broker yet, so let's, let's assign a broker. Who is best at it? Well, apparently this uh, cubic... Uh, the stone worker is our best broker, so they shall be named fantastic. Uh, policy of Madness, the broker. Uh, ooh, Policy of Madness, sword talked. Uh, well, you know what? As a villain broker, I like the way that sounds. That that sounds rather lovely. And my dwarves are going a little bit faster than I, than I need them to. I mean, that's a good thing, but it's faster than I need them to. That's, that's enough spot for a bunch of places. Once they all get done with that, then we can start actually building some nice workshops and start doing the thing. And I can already start setting this up as my primary, um, my, my, uh, primary place. And we are actually going to, no, I suppose we won't actually make it off limits to outsiders at least not yet at least not until we have made ourselves some enemies oh not a temple uh, we want this as an inn or tavern the belly of cities I like that the belly of cities that's rather lovely I think that's pleasant enough um, light worshippers no I will not be dealing with light worshippers. Not today. Thank you very kindly. Uh, the light worshippers have. Uh, well, I think I think I've already said what the light worshippers have done, but I'm just not going to deal with the light worshippers again. Not for a while. Ooh, the temple's done. Excellent. Uh, so it has jumped from 400 to 1,646. Goodness, golly, gosh. Excellent. That is exactly what I wanted to see. But we still don't have a lot of drinks. <gasps> because I haven't JMQ'd it. JM oh, goodness, golly, gosh, I can't believe my ignorance. Oh, where, where's he going? Is... He going to eat that? Or is he going to go turn it into drinks? Cause I ain't mad if he's gonna eat it. I'm very mad. No, I, I am mad if he's going to eat it. I'm not mad if he's going to turn it into drinks. Why is everything down here damp now? Why is it all damp? Who dampened my walls? 
probably because it's under the lake. It's because we're under the lake. Buddy. Buddy. Where are you going with that pigtail? There is a location right there for those pigtails to go. Where the hell do you think you're going? If you are going to eat that pigtail, I'm going to expel you. Where are you going? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you're socializing. You just put it in the food stockpile. Why? Why? Why would you put it in the food stockpile and not in the location that is directly next to the fucking farm? It, the, the thing can literally only have pigtails. There's nothing else allowed here. It's only pigtails. Why? Okay, it will take from anywhere and it gives to the cloth shop. Why? Why? Why, buddy? You just took a pigtail from the pigtail thing and you, 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 you did the thing. Come on, buddy. <sighs> okay. No, it's good. It's fine. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Everything's dandy. Okay, we got one more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna PX. I'm gonna. We got a pigtail. Ooh. 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 Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm, I'm very mad. But we're going to give still this farmer's workshop and we're going to tell them to just process plants because I'm going to need somebody to process plants. Going to need it soonish. God, I thought I was so clever. I, I thought I was so clever. I thought everything I was doing was, was big boy smart time. And it turns out that no. No, it is not. It is not big boy smart time. It is small brain time. Lovely. There it goes. Ah. Uh, oh, and some migrants have arrived. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Bringing us up to 29. Okay, well, it sounds like then we are going to need to get started on the next part of our uh, rooms, which we still have failed to build out. Look at this. Ugh, the fortress is lovely. I'm quite pleased. Hopefully I don't be a bitch. That's that's always my biggest regret, being a bitch. All right, we can make that well. And then my dwarves are going to have some drinks and they will be quite hell belly of cities. Goblets, 10 out of 10. Instruments, 0 out of 5. Wonderful. We got a nice dance floor going, too. Okay, that will be the next half of my tavern. And I'm going to make that a nice big place for all of my dwarves to be happy. Um... Also, I'm going to use this space so that I can uh, make where uh, my dwarves will... Uh, oh, look at that. They're gathered around the well. I'm quite pleased with this. I'll make this space so that they can also be making uh, drinks. BS. Let's just go ahead and smooth these out, too. I... 
God, am I on top of things? I'm gonna have to check with my dwarves. I, I, I think I'm on top of things, and honestly, that in itself makes me very worried that something is going incredibly wrong. Okay, let's, let's, let's find... Okay, they're simulating instruments, so they do need instruments. An ambush of what? Goblin blowgunner? And some migrants have arrived. Terrible timing, friends. Yes, we still do have invaders on the map. Oh, we even have a bugbear. But they are... No, they're, they're down here at the bottom of the map. I'm very curious. Okay, here's the thing, guys. I'm gonna open up the doors so you can all get inside. <laughs> oh, where's my door? Oh, it's all covered in blood. Good, good, good. Uh, we're gonna permit passage. And we are going, I'm gonna zoom out. And really hope that those ambushers, oh. Looks like the ambushers are going at the of madness in the R. Let's go ahead and put in a weaver, bone carver, glass maker, another glass maker. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna make five maces and five swords. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's why I, I knew that was going to happen. A, K, the very first thing we're going to do is kill this goblin. Sadly, only half of you have weapons. So, if you can, oh, it's not even a goblin. It is a bugbear. All right, buddy booze. <sighs> Let's do this. We come out of the gates. Oh, my goodness. And they just instantly whipple whomped him. Okay, cool beans. I did not expect that to go quite as quickly. Oh, he is not dead. Oh. He is not dead. Did where what where where did where are my two of them are dead. Two two of my dwarves are dead. Where did the rest of them go? What are they where the fuck did they where did they go? Did they even hurt him? He doesn't even look hurt. Oh. Oh, no. He's not even hurt. Well. I suppose. Let us forbid passage. God, I, I sent up ten dwarves. And he just, he outright killed two of them. And the rest of them ran away. He must have killed the military, he killed the military commander. That's what it was. He killed the military commander straight out. They panicked and ran the F away. Oh my goodness, golly gosh. A rousing defeat for the walled doors. I guess I'm going to call it there today. As my dwarves sit in somber silence, drinking their drinks, doing the do. Uh, I guess it is now imperative that I make this... Make that, uh, make that, that place, which is probably going to be damp stone all the way through, because why wouldn't it be? And this one is just going to be plump helmets. 
This one is purely going to be plump helmets. All we can do at this point is wait. Oh good, we have a Dijin. All we can really do now is just wait for the invaders to leave. Oh, I caught one. Oh good, I caught one of these damn goblins. With that, I have been streaming for five hours, and I'm going to call it there. I think I have done enough. Oh, shit, I haven't. I forgot. And there he goes, and he claims the workshop. Fantabulous. Cool beans. Oh, my God, he got the workshop. He did the thing that he wanted to do. Awesome. We're going to... Well... Let's find an animal that we still have. Oh, no! Oh, no! We got dogs and we got cats. That. I hate that. I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Man. Damn. Damn, I hate that. Damn it. Ooh, I hate that. Okay. Oh, I hate it. Yep, there he goes. And done. Okay. Oh, that's so sad. Tanned. Okay. Uh. Okay, what else do you need, buddy? I should have pretty much everything. If you need wood, then you're going to die. Forest. Mmm. Mmm, man. Of course. Of course you need a forest. Of course you need a forest. Why wouldn't you need a forest? Why wouldn't you? Okay, well, we're going to get... We're going to get you good. You're going to get yours here soon enough. But for now, I am going to go ahead and call it a night because i've been streaming for five hours i'm tired uh i'm hungry i did not eat like i thought i was going to eat he has the leather he needs the wood but i will talk to you guys in the next episode which will probably be very soon i love you all